This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Dr Helen McShane talks about her work on a new vaccine against tuberculosis. Hello Helen. How big a problem is TB today? TB remains one of the major causes of disease and death throughout the world today. Last year there were 9 million new cases throughout the world and 2 million deaths. In addition, the emergence of multi-drug resistant strains and extensively drug resistant strains of MTB have meant that really we're not very good at treating this disease anymore in those situations. And we know that a third of the world's population are latently infected with TB, which means that they are at risk of reactivation of that latent infection if they become immunosuppressed for any reason. How are tuberculosis and HIV linked? So the geographical overlap between the TB and the HIV epidemic has really had a devastating impact, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. We know that people who are infected with HIV have a 10% annual risk of reactivating their latent infection compared with people who are HIV negative who have a 10% lifetime risk. In addition, we know that people who are HIV infected are significantly more likely to get new infection with TB. And furthermore, we know that people who are infected with HIV who develop TB disease, that TB disease then causes a progression of their HIV disease. So these two pathogens really have a devastating synergy. How well does the vaccination protect against tuberculosis? Vaccination is the most effective and efficient way to control any infectious disease outbreak. BCG is the only available licensed vaccine against TB and has been around for over 100 years now. BCG is routinely given throughout the developing world at birth and we know that when it's given at birth, it is good at protecting against severe disease and TB meningitis in particular in the first 10 years of life. But we know that BCG doesn't protect against lung disease, which is where the burden of mortality and morbidity are. We also know that boosting with BCG, so giving it repeated times, doesn't make any different, a difference and doesn't make it any better. How is your research linked into this? So my research programme over the last 10 years has been to develop new TB vaccines and to test them in clinical trials. MVA85A, one of the vaccines we've developed here, is now the most clinically advanced new TB vaccine in the world. MVA85A went into clinical trials in 2002, and since then we've conducted 19 clinical trials, first in the UK and then in the Gambia, South Africa, and more recently in Senegal, testing the safety primarily of this vaccine in different populations, in different ages, in TB-infected patients, and in HIV-infected patients more recently. Last year, MVA85A entered into a phase 2B efficacy trial in South African babies, and that study will run for the next two years when we'll actually find out for the first time whether this vaccine actually works to stop people getting TB disease. Next year, we'll start a big study in HIV-infected adults as they're also a really important target population for a new TB vaccine. How does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? So one definition of translational medicine is taking things from the laboratory through into the clinic, and that's exactly what we do in my program. MVA85A is a vaccine I made in my PhD, and it's now the most clinically advanced new TB vaccine being tested in several countries throughout the world. Thank you, Helen.